For the following exercise, find the average rate of change of the function on the interval specified. So um, here what we have is we, we have a bunch of information that's given to us. So there, there's two ways to approach this particular problem, okay? One way to do it is to take this function, okay, on this interval and evaluate it the way we have been doing it, all right? Following these two steps, all right, find here are, uh, here are each of your x values, x1 and x2. You take them and you plug them in. All right, for x both times, and you'll find your y1 and y2, and then you can find the slope. All right, uh, that's how we've been doing it. Uh, another way to do this is a little easier. You can use this average rate of change formula, okay, and basically take this f of x, right, because the, the f of x is equal to it. So basically take this f of x value and substitute it on in, all right, for your f for your function values in, in this equation. I'm gonna do it that way, it's a little faster, all right? So basically what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, have to write out first the function of x plus h. So basically what we're do looking to do, if, if this is f, if this thing is f of x, then I want, and I wanna find f of x plus h, all I have to do is take all of these x values and just substitute in x plus h for them, okay, dot, dot, dot. So that's what we're gonna do first, okay? So to find this part of the equation, I'll color code this, to find this part of the equation, we are going to do two, so I'm starting over here, times the x plus h, x plus h squared minus three times x plus h. All right, that takes care of the first piece. Then minus now, our f of x value. Well, that's easy, right? This is f of x, so just plug that in, but make sure you got a parenthesis here because the negative is distributed over the whole thing. So this is gonna be two x squared minus three x. And this is now all over h, okay? All over h, and I meant to leave the blue circle around here. Now, what I'm gonna do is just try to simplify this thing, okay? So I realize I got, a, I got a binomial here and I'm gonna square it, right? So that's gonna be now two times x squared plus two xh plus h squared. All right, uh, then that's minus, and I'll just, I'll rewrite the rest, okay? So this is gonna be three times x plus h, and I'm going to now do my distribution over here. So we get a, a minus two x squared plus three x, all over h. Okay, let me make that a little straighter. All over h. Now distribute the two, okay? So we're gonna distribute that two. So now we got two x squared plus four x h plus h, excuse me, two h squared. Minus now do distribute the three. Minus three x minus three h minus two x squared plus three x. And this is all over now h. Now, condense some stuff and simplify whatever you can. All right. So notice this negative 3x cancel with that positive 3x. This negative 2x squared cancel with that negative, uh, excuse me, that positive uh, 2x squared. And that's all we can really do. So now I'm going to rewrite it up here. So I'm going to lead, I'm going to lead with the, uh, it doesn't really matter what I lead with. I'm going to lead with the h term, the h squared term though, okay? So this is 2h squared plus 4xh minus 3h, that's all that's left up here, and then all over h. Now notice each term has a h in common, right? So therefore, since I, I can factor out one of the h's, all right, and then I can cancel it with the denominator. Instead of going through a whole extra step, I'm just gonna reduce each h term by one. So this gets rid of the square, this h goes bye-bye, and that h goes bye-bye, and that one does too. So what are we left with? So we now have 2h plus 4x minus three. And this represents the average rate of change. Okay, this is the average rate of change. Now, you could have done it the other way like we've been doing the problems, following the steps over here, okay? And then, um, you know, substituting each of these values on in, as I mentioned before, you're gonna get the same answer. This way is a little faster.
All right. If you notice, if you go back to the problems and, and basically look at what happened at the end of the problem, all right, how things were canceling, how the H canceled over here from the bottom, each with one H from each of the terms, you'll be beginning to recognize a pattern. All right. So I implore you to try to identify that for yourself. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, give us a hand, hit the like button if this video helped, and we'll see you next time. Take care.